Hello friends, welcome to channel Reza Blade. I'm your friendly neighborhood Reza and we have, um, after a long wait, and I am sorry I'm tardy, um, some of you may have known that we had a situation in the family that I had to help out with and um, also I've had nonstop migraines for about the past month. Um, but I have a panoply of choices, of examples, of ideas to tell you about today about the Manny by Me box for, well, it would be me. Um, and uh, this year is 2022. So uh, this is a sizzling pool party themed box. Um, there's a wicked cool, clear sparkling stamper um, as the surprise fifth item. Um, it's also, this is also as the surprise third item um, for those of you who just get the box without the polishes. So, um, if you don't know about Made by Me subscriptions, it's a subscription box. You have the ability to opt out if you don't like that particular month. Um, but I try to give people ideas every month of what they can do, uh, with the plates thinking both in the box and outside the box. So in the box would be pool parties, summer fun. Um, and those are not things I like. <laughs> So I have, um, I have kind of a, a different way of thinking about this month's box. It was try to convince me, the person who doesn't really like, um, you know, swimming, nail art, you know, pools, beaches, that's kind of thing. It's not my thing. Um, so make me want the box. Tell me, convince me that I would like the box, even if I loved to make art about fun in the sun. So you're gonna see a lot of kind of out of the box ideas here that you may not think would have anything to do with beaches or fun, but I, I, will, I will show you this particular plate is quite a big multitasker. So now that I've dropped the word that I'm gonna be talking about during this um, vid, um, this is actually a term that I've stolen or I guess just learned from Alton Brown about kitchen tools, but I uh, can, I uh, refer to plates as we you know whether they're a limited focus um, or whether it's a multitasker plate can do multiple things. So for 79, we have these fun images. You see lots of pool shapes. You see some canopy umbrella uh, shapes. Um, is this an awning? Is it a rug? What is it? Is it somebody's sarong spread out? Maybe it's beach towel. You be the judge. And there are little open shapes. These are always very useful. And co coincidence? I think not. If you have trouble with open shapes, um, or even open shapes that are much bigger than that, like the kind that you use to make your ombres in certain plates, um, this stamper, is apparently quite good for that. It's got a wide uh, circumference, I believe. <laughs> anyway, so I wrote down a little bit more. This is good for um, picking up rectangles. So like, the, you know, those big open shapes, like I said, um, but they're also great for those kind of French chip stamps or something like this. In fact, I brought this um, it's a newer plate for maniology to test the stamper on today. So we'll be a little bit longer um, while I'm thinking of it. Don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying it or have enjoyed it or will enjoy it. Uh, also subscribe and leave me your comments. Tell me what you think. So we're going to try this out. Uh, it's also supposed to be pretty good for straight lines or if you just tend to have a heavy hand with the stamper. A lot of stampers are very much, you, you got to have feather light pressure on them. And I understood from watching the unboxing video for Manny by me, uh, for Maniology that um, one of them has a heavy hand and, uh, and really enjoys the stamper. So um, this one, do not fret. It does have the pop off bottom. I, I, uh, it was probably very firm when I last installed it because it had just fallen off during a video but I am going to take it off. I usually leave mine without their bottoms because I do have so many acetone accidents. Um, I have two 
you, know, you may have noticed I have two silicone mats down over this table because I am so accident prone. You know, I have I have occasional tremors, uh, etc. But that is neither here nor there. Here is the. I'm not going to be able to put it back in, am I? Here it is. This is where it goes. It's always helpful if you can put your stamper back in its box. All right, so I am going to use uh, that. I, I've laid down some polish for us to stamp on. Speaking of polish, let's talk about the polishes that come in Maniologies. Um, newest May box. Okay, we've got Splash and Watermelon Float. And I have um, both stamped these on the top indicating, you know, you've got a black base here and here. Um, it's almo almost as effective as telling on real polish. I find it a really good indicator. So these are both pretty good stamps. I mean, because of the, what are they using? The language they're using for these colors. Oh my goodness, I picked up the wrong little, the wrong little uh, part of my box. Anyway, uh, so so I can't I can't use theirs, but I think this is a you know a an electric kind of blue, with a like a blue iridescence to it, um, like a turquoise iridescence to it. It's really beautiful. Um, it does kind of sheen shine against the the matte of the sticker really beautifully, and then this is kind of a watermelon, but it is it is much lighter than the watermelon we got in our picnic themed basket so don't fret i didn't have the time with all that i have done here and i probably start need to needing to think about like an actual set amount that i do for each box because i know i it's like i keep coming back with a bigger pile of <laughs> foods to serve you um anyway so uh i have done swatches myself for these and stamping on black and white here and also here. You can't really see the blue that well unless you're at a very specific angle on the black. But the watermelon's doing okay, holding its own. So let's now talk about what I have done with my paper to show you um, how these stamp, just, you know, right out of the box. I don't clean them, I pull the film off and I stamp. And this, this process means more when it's not a maniology plate. Um, believe it or not, I, I try out all sorts of plates and some fail this test. So I know everybody you know, is probably used to seeing these things from me, um, but it really does mean a lot more when you're talking about some other discount brands of plates. So um, if you look further back in my catalog, like a couple years ago, I bet you'll see a bunch of that kind of thing. Um, so here we have the, um, floats that you'd find maybe at a Vegas resort or something. I don't know. These are fancier than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> um, here's a ladder going down that you would go down the pool, you know, um, here are some fun plant kind of theme stamps, some leaves there. And then these are the shapes I'm talking to you about. So you have a um, hexagon. That's, that's what that is. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think, yes, it is. Anyway, and we have a pool kind of, you know, that you'd, you'd find in, in set into, um, a patio or something. And then we have these very, very useful, um, rectangle and square. So over this, I have put, um, a lighter uh, ink stamping polish, lighter stamping polish. I, I found that I preferred it when I did it like this, so I redid it. Um, I really do love this tile pattern. It's It, it really does kind of draw itself to multitasking. Um, here's some tiles that I assume would be inset into those. You do this stamp first, and then you really, really try to make sure everything lined up here we have that cool uh, distortion of the, you know, the tiles that are under a swimming pool. So this is you seeing from on top, 
into clearish water, you'll, you'll see that kind of distortion of the, of the tile shapes. So here we have some more shapes here. Um, some of them can be like layered stamps. Uh, here's a bunch of beach balls, and I've seen this image actually, or an image like it, where these beach balls are actually on a lake or something. So you could do blue, and then you could do the kind of ripple water flowing pattern here. And then on top of that, you could uh, reverse stamp some beach balls, maybe the whole bit, maybe not. It's all up to you. And I, I have used these uh, parasols in very interesting ways. I can't wait to show you. All right, for my second stamping plate here in this uh, collection, we've got a bunch of inner tubes that can also be interpreted as multitaskers because that's a donut. That's a donut. Maybe a bagel. I don't know. Poppy seed. Um, so we have a, bu a bunch of different kinds of inner tubes. Like, you've really got a great variety. Um, these post uh, Polaroids, I keep calling them postcards. These Polaroids, I did an, actually a whole video, um, which I will link in the description below, telling you how I made my ombres within a reverse stamp or an advanced stamp, some people call it. So to give you an example of what I have done, here is um, one of the nails and one of the manis that I did. I did kind of a batik background. Uh, I don't remember what stamp I used, but it was also a maniology plate um, with a bunch of different colors, kind of a batik style fabric. And then, so I filled in this and I did a gradient sky within the actual reverse stamp, no sponges, all paintbrush. So I do teach you how to do that. I have um, a two part video for you linked below. Also, we have, um, so we've got all those Polaroids. We have a rubber ducky, which <laughs> becomes very important further in this video. That's all, that's all I'll, I'll tease. Okay, we have sandals, which have been very useful to me. Uh, as an example, I wasn't able to get rid of all the black lines I wanted off of this particular Polaroid, but I filled it in, and then I used the flip-flops to just cover up that black line. So it can be very helpful, little shapes like this that are on theme. Um, you'll pay attention to this. Uh, this will get, uh, get your eye, catch your eye in the uh, rubber ducky mani. I have taken off the dive in. These are really useful that way. I mean, you can use these, this wisher we're here with the plants or without the leaves. Just really great ideas. So, and I do love the, the um, you know, the basket for beach fun. Uh, we have uh, some pops, um, watermelon, summer treats. We've got some uh, swimsuits, and then we've got some sunbathers. I, I, uh, I would like to see more kinds of people stamps, I think. Um, I used this one. I liked it, it was fun. And then I used, uh, her and I think I used him. So look for them up in the nail art I'm about to show you. And that would be our cue. It is time to move on to the uh, manis and sample nail art. So um, I'll first I guess I'll show you the uh, manicure that, oh, there's a gozer hair in there. I'm sorry. I kept this out on the table all day. I know better than that. Um, so here we've got that Manny. I'll uh, cut to a picture of me wearing it. And so I really like that Manny. I've got it, just a bunch of different kinds of, of uh, nails in that to kind of switch them out <laughs> like, like I was making you a set. Um, here is the rubber ducky Manny. Um, these two rubber ducky shapes over the uh, gradient background those are from a sailor plate by Moyu London, but everything else here is from these plates in this collection. So uh, we have a make some waves. Um, this, the make some waves is from another plate, but this whole pool scene, um, 
I really like this one. I, I wanted to go for the asymmetrical thumb just as a kind of a fun add on. And then I've got uh, various ways of balancing the image on either side with the frame. Um, and then we have the two um, interacting floaters and we've got some of those beach balls. And of course, we've, I'm using the um, white stamping polish to indicate that it is over the, uh, you know, the ripples over the waves. I mean, the ripples over this, the water. And I did the same thing in here. The technique that I use when I'm stamping something down on a blocked out shape, this is a very good tip. Um, so if I'm putting something down and I only want the stamp to go somewhere, I don't tape it up. I don't do anything like that anymore. I just apply my sticky base coat exactly where um, the stamped item is desired. So I could pick out little places that I wanted things to go. So it was pretty cool. Um, I use that in several of these um, manis up here that show how very versatile these plates are. All right. So um, here's a thing of me wearing that one. Then I showed you the manis. Let's get onto the sticks. So I'm showing you my failures too. Um, this is a commitment that I have to you. Um, this one didn't go so well. It was supposed to be a reflecting pool, sort of um, maybe, maybe a mirror. I don't know. But I was thinking like a reflecting pool being in some sort of light, looking some sort of way. <laughs> but, um, and, and of course that uh, tile pattern isn't from these plates, uh, but I don't recall what I used. Um, that is something I kind of consider a fail um, I, uh, for obvious reasons, um, I did not put enough coats of my stuff on my reverse stamp. I tried to stamp it early and it was under very hot lights and it turned into a mush. Um, the good news is that I redid this nail into this and I am quite happy with how that turned out. So see, sometimes I fail. In fact, I fail a lot. I'm good at it. Um, but if you fail, you get better at what you're trying. So here is this, I meant this to be kind of a hot tub in a gym on a, on a, I used a polish that had lots of variegation in it so that that could be a really cool tile floor for a bathroom, like especially a gym one. Um, and I used to, to try to evoke the sense of moving water. I used both sparkle and, um, kind of sheer translucent white. Uh, shapes or light blue shapes above the darker blue and then it's surrounded by a marble lip I thought maybe I don't know but this this bores me and it makes me sad uh, because I spent enough time on it and and it's just not my kind of nail art but I wanted to make the attempt because I, I you know I really wanted to find out if I could do what this box is kind of meant to do despite my um, you know, my tendency to want to stay inside all summer long. So here's another one. Didn't, this didn't work out so well exactly. The tile, now you can probably see the shape of the tile. Uh, it was just far too subtle. And so even if this inset pool had worked, I mean, I should have tried it with a different, deeper colored stamp, maybe an almond. Anyway, so that's something. Not, not a great success. First few things I did, I really enjoyed. I was very inspired when I saw this plate to make this <laughs> with the inner tube. Uh, this is, um, I think from Hanny's Manny's, this uh, um, collab plate with the little um, sprinkles. Anyway, I really like that one. It looks like I accidentally put an eyeball in the middle of that silly donut though, doesn't it? making like the donut of Cthulhu. Anyway, so, um, and I saw an image of an inner tube in a, um, you know, in a pool that looked exactly like this. So what I did was I used a stamping polish that was just a half a shade deeper than the polish for the actual water. 
so that you'll see if you look at a picture with the si I, well this is I tried to follow the picture anyway but there's this slightly deeper color um, and uh, and then of course the inner tube isn't centered over its shadow uh, we're looking at light from a certain perspective so that that's how I did that <laughs> I really enjoyed that one. I wanted to do something that had nothing to do with swimming, but was very pretty. And I used the shapes on the shape plate and the leaves to make a very abstract looking idea. Uh, and this one was one of my favorites. I very meticulously colored these tiles in um, because I didn't want to mess with the, the layered stamp. Um, anyway, so, and then I used a very sheer blue, um, to, uh, to color in where the water lip, um, in the pool came up to. So this is the image that you would see as you're swimming up to the edge of a pool and you can see that tile there and here's where the water ends. I like that one. Um, okay, here's, here we're talking about some of the, um, multitasker kind of, uh, destinies for this plate. So here I have overlapped a bunch of circles um, from the rings on the plate. This is a towel image, striped towel, or maybe it's a great um, unconventional French tip. Um, here we have my favorite uh, polish of the season. This is Sugar by Nevermind Polish. And then we have, I use the um, umbrella parasol um, image, and it actually kind of looks like very elegant body ideas. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> I, I did not expect to get this look, but I really actually do like it. It also reminds me kind of of a church window. Um, this, believe it or not, I made this half and half nail by using this rectangular, um, rectangular shape a couple of times. And then it was very easy to take my specialty polish that I wanted over the black stamping I put that over there to get the look that I was after. And then here I have kind of a pastel goth halloween -y look. And this is what with the umbrella pattern on both sides filled in like kind of a, um, a spider web that, that is, has a violet in its background or lavender, I guess. Anyway, really like this one. Um, I showed you the nail with this. Um, you, you'll be, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll be familiar with this technique. I use this, this line here on the stamp, that darker pink line, and you see the p lighter pink is above that. I did all that on the stamper so that I didn't have to mess with it directly on the nail. Um, and then this is a separate watermelon piece that I placed there from elsewhere on the plate. Otherwise, I just did some reverse stamping. This lime finger I'm really pleased with. I actually used the towel. Um, you can't see it because I used sheer, uh, but the pattern tail, towel the, uh, image, the one that's not striped, um, it's kind of, there's a, a very interesting woven pattern in there and you can't quite see that, but you can see the color that I used, which is one of the sheer uh, neon polishes from Hit the Bottle. And I just, I love that effect. And with the lime slice that is, of course, is an actual inner t tube, but I, I like the idea of using these as real things too. So that's where I got the idea of the graph paper look with the gold pineapple as it made me think vaguely of um, sitting in school drawing things on my composition paper. <laughs> um, and then this one, showed up better in the picture that I'm using this blue pearl, that splash polish that came with this box um, to make that really pretty glow. I just kind of sponged it a little bit to do that glow up top. It says, wish you were here. It has some leaf accents. It has the girl on the inner tube with her legs up. Um, I really like that one. I made a butterfly out of two umbrellas. <laughs> It's not centered, but I think it's fun and smart. Um, I like that idea. Um, and this, this is a, actually a bunch of um, uh, umbrellas too, sun, sun umbrellas, uh, and a bunch of them all together 
over a lovely polish that has lots of red bits in it. Here is a rocket pop, um, which I did with the rectangles. I made this whole thing with the rectangles for the plate that I said is an absolute multitasker. You can do all sorts of things with this plate. And I think that's all the instructions. Um, I suppose I should tell you in this uh, Splish Splash Manny, um, I used a uh, kind of an aqua uh, glitter to give the, I don't know, I just needed to give it some whimsy perhaps. Um, and then in, in order to do my reversals of the, you know, how you turn around the image, I use the cheat. I don't mind working the long way round. I make it into a reverse, a reverse stamp and then I turn it over with some tweezers or very gentle hands that aren't too warm. If they're too warm, you'll melt the polish. <laughs> you won't be holding reverse stamps anymore, just remnants of them. Anyway, so uh, we're going to go ahead now and try out this special stamper with um, a special stamper with the open plate. I'm going to need it. I really want a paper towel to kind of protect me. Um, here we go. I make I make big messes when I stamp. Um, here we go. And I want the lid, the pretty, pretty lid to be far away from my workspace when I'm working. These are just little hints that I have learned over the years. Um, so we're going to use a big card. It is it is firm, as you can see. So this scraper, we're going to put You want enough. Um, you want enough. So I'm going to try to pick this bit here. And you want, when you scrape your scraper, you're going to go for maybe a 20 degree instead of a 45 degree slant. You're really going to try to get as parallel to the plate as you can. Okay. So technically, I view it as my... Um, my instant timer starts when I scrape, not necessarily when I put the polish down, unless I work really slow. Okay, this actually, because I made an error when I scraped, this comes out like much, much better than I would have expected. You can see the issues that I created. And other than that, these, these stamps are right. So I would say that on first, uh, on first look. All right, let's try the next thing. We're gonna take some sticky base coat. My sticky base coat is crumbling black all over, so I don't know why it is, but this is the Maniology brand one I'm using. And one of the reasons I'm using gloves is because I, I just shred, get shreds of black everywhere. Anyway. All right, so I put, I put a bunch on. There's time to clean the plate and maybe try it another time. Although, oh, here's my acetone. Again, I remind you that if you are working with gloves and you are stamping, latex is the only material for gloves that I know of because nitrile and rubber aren't. Only the latex is acetone resistant, so. Um, it, if that helps you in any way, I, I hope it does. I waited too long, but I, I consider it a, a win. I think this is going to be a great stamper for me. Uh, this supposedly is also really great for those who struggle with straight lines, um, like a plaid, for example. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else. If there's anything else that I haven't addressed, of course I want to answer your questions. So please tell me about maybe your favorite swatches, your favorite ideas, or something that you want to know more about as far as a nail or a question about a technique I used. Um, I have a lot of videos coming up, so do make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna give you some of that right now as soon as I make sure I haven't missed anything as far as what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, so next videos. We have 
Hit the Bottle New Products. I told you I have to do that one. Um, also, an, I have an Adored Colors new polish release. I have three of those. Um, you know, I have a lot of things on my plate, uh, but I just have heard back from some friends who have requested uh, a video about stamping for long nails and how to fill up that space. Um, because, you know, not all stamping plates will give you, uh, take care of all the real estate that you have with a longer nail shape. Okay. So um, I have used techniques like this because I do really long PR tips for my nails. Um, and I, I have a lot of experience with this. So I have about five different strategies, um, but I want to give myself time to kind of write down everything I do as I do it, just in case I missed, you know, something. I don't want to leave some information out. I'm kind of famous for telling you all of the things. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I guess expect to see that video before or by my birthday, if I were to give it a, you know, make a goal, make a, uh, for me to hit, uh, uh, that's June 25th. I'm a cancer. Yes. Yes. Um, and so I still have all those asymmetrical swatches. I did a D and D Manny for a Manny tude, a uh, small review. There's just, there's a lot to do. <laughs> and I hope that I get everything done that you want to see, but I will continue to do those, um, to do these. Even when I don't like the subject, I can always find a way to make these genius plates work for something I want to do. So I hope you enjoy that too. Um, I hope I don't have to pop back on to say anything I've forgotten. <laughs> so, um, but you know, feel well, be, stay safe, be healthy, take care of yourself and be kind to yourself by letting yourself have some art creative outlet and get to work on this box maybe. <laughs> Talk to you soon.